Hi, welcome back. This is Commander Speedy. Um, recording some Elite Dangerous Alpha 1.1 testing. Um, I'm returning back from the 3D back to the uh, normal non 3D element of the game. Um, I want to complete my mission demonstration of each one, um, so I'm going to return to mission 6, which is um, all to do with stealth really. Well, not entirely stealth, but to be running cold. So um, basically, there's three ships out there that we've got to destroy. And basically there is a cobra out there protecting them. And the idea is, is to go around and use your cannon fire to stay cold to destroy those whilst uh, not being detected by the heat that you generate. Um, I've deliberately avoided the 3D for now just purely because I have no glasses. Um, I've got some anaglyph 3D glasses on order so I can enjoy maybe that in um, next week after Christmas. It's also blowing a girl outside. Um, the UK seemed to be hit with a some storms this morning so um, I'm sorry if you can hear any rain noise and um, that's not part of the video that is actually outside um, so let's get back into the game then so here we got 1.1 1 .1. um, the actual scenarios apparently aren't as hard uh, sorry have changed slightly they're not as hard in certain areas and easier in others um, but in harder in other parts it's hard to explain until I show you what we're doing so um, here we go on the blip three ships let's go, just go and see if we've got anything on the radar nothing at the moment the cobra is there and the beacon so we don't really want to know where the cobra is well let's go and see where the cobra is if we select the cobra we can see he's there we've got the three squares triangles sorry between triangles and squares flashing in the middle so we want to avoid the guy with the parenthesis around him so let's go and find one of the um, ships we have to destroy. The idea is not to fly too fast, because uh, the more we fly like that, the more heat we generate. Now, we can obviously go and turn off some of the details. Just gonna slow my ship down so we don't harm into something. And if we go, we can actually run quiet turning off our shields and our drop shields we're only going to use 63% let's turn a bit more off turn our weapons off for a minute and the power distribution we don't need that at the moment so we're only going to generate 18% heat so let's go and have a look now what we're doing a little bit of a disadvantage because clearly if that cobra comes and finds us now we've turned a lot of things off but we're only actually running at eight percent heat the idea is, is now we can really sneak around and here we got our first target so i need to now go and turn our weapons back on we only need our multi cannon on Turning on my weapons. Okay, this guy just returns. There's one gone. Now we're still only on one percent heat. The idea is now we shouldn't really be detectable too, too, too much. So let's fly for a bit now. You'll notice the cold generation on the screen. That's purely because we have turned everything off like we did. Oh, great. And I have been detected. That was not a smart move by myself. So let's get amongst those uh, rocks and turn some systems back on. I've uh, fallen quite badly in this mission. Clearly I've come out into the open too much. So the idea is now it's a chase. It's a race to get on and destroy these other ships before I'm caught by the Cobra. Which is still doable. Poor 
Quartet. Poor Quartet. I'm gonna give that another go. So in the past, I haven't turned off so many systems, and so uh, systems. So um, quite clearly, I, uh, what I'd actually done was I'd actually ventured out too far into space. So when I did take out the uh, last ship, I was making too much noise, effectively. See, it is quite possible to lose in this game, and that's what I like about the balance of this game. It's very possible to um, take out one scenario very quickly, return back to it, retry it again, and we'll try and tweak or different strategy and quite often those strategies can pay differences in dividends Cobra is again a very silly idea. I can't believe this, I've returned back here and um, I easily took out the three ships in the last uh, scenario without the recording, so that's just typical. <laughs> Weapons, make sure we keep that nice and neat. There is a silent mode as well in like this game has. So I'll switch to it. And it's running up now. What we can do is again is to actually help us to turn off the shield generation and turn off our beam laser because we certainly don't need that. And while we're running in this silent mode. Fighter 
does help if you actually lock on and use your system just to actually lock on the ships. So I'm doing just purely for finding them. Oh, he's behind the meat. Uh, oh, so he's actually behind the asteroid there. Go and sneak up behind. Oh, I've got to turn off. Hadn't noticed the um, cold, hot running. So I've now going to turn off silent and I'm going to do a dump. So I'm actually dumping my car of our heat. So there is a, a couple of um, heat exhaust. Got, which helps to dump heat very, very quickly. It's extremely helpful. Now I'm going to go back to running cold. So I'm running for silent mode again. There you go. That was the final mission just to show you that you can take it out. Her and my daughter just walked in, so this is Commander Speedy signing off.